So apparently a huge indie pop band named TV Girl took the stage recently and thanked Satan, their dark lord, for all of their material and worldly success and they promised to continue doing his bidding. Check this out. But I would also like to thank just one more person, a very special person, without whom any of this would ever be possible and that's of course my dark lord Satan. Thank you Satan. Wow. Now, TV Girl is not a band I've personally ever heard of, but apparently they're huge. Over 20 million streams on Spotify alone every month. I mean, a lot of people know who they are, and apparently they're from my hometown, California. Now, to be honest, what they said and how they said it was pretty darn bold, but we know this type of garbage is going on in the music industry. And so, honestly, it doesn't surprise me. But what does surprise me is the crowd's reaction. They all just begin to erupt and applaud when this was said. Do you see how conditioned and how numbed and how desensitized people are to the idea of worshiping Satan and selling your soul to Satan for fame and success? Do you see how Satan has deceived the masses? Then this isn't like, from what I understand, this isn't like a demonic band that talks about demonic things and has a lot of dark imagery in their songs and in their music. But they can come out and say something like this and not only does the crowd not have an issue with it and they're not worried and disturbed by this, but they applaud it and they begin to scream and yell for Satan, for worshiping Satan. Wow. Now later on TV Girl, they addressed this statement that was made and they said that they did this as a joke. A lot of the fans said they were just doing satire. They were being sarcastic and they released this video on stage next. I was thinking, our fans, these kids, they need Jesus. They need him bad and they need him quick. Woo! Well, that's what you get for trying to do something nice for people. Anyways, we're gonna punish you now with three new songs in a row, so. Now, let me just point something out real quick. One moment this band can thank Satan and say that they're doing the bidding of Satan, and then the next moment they can say that their crowd and their audience and their followers need Jesus desperately right now, and the crowd erupts once again. <laughs> So it's like the crowd is just reacting and applauding and praising anything that these artists will say. It doesn't matter if it's on the extreme side of darkness or if it's on the side of good and the side of light and the side of God. Whatever these artists say, whatever they stand for, whatever they promote, these fans, these supporters, these followers are going to applaud. They're going to praise it. They're going to agree with it. It just shows you how impressionable people are, how weak-minded people really are. You know, how naive people really are. They will literally follow these bands straight into the pit of hell. Literally, that's what they'll do. But let me say something about TV Girl, though. For them to make a statement thanking Satan and then try and make a statement saying that their crowd needs Jesus and their supporters need Jesus, you know... It's just complete. I'm not buying that, and it's completely ingenuine. First of all, a real Christian, I don't care how funny you're trying to be, and I don't care what type of joke you're trying to tell, or you're trying to be sarcastic, real Christians don't play like that. Real Christians don't play around and, and even get close to playing around saying that we worship Satan and that we're going to do Satan's bidding and thanking Satan. Real Christians and real followers of Christ and Jesus do not play like that. It's nothing funny about it because it's so real. Our allegiance and our alliance is to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the only way to the Father. And we would not even think about making a joke saying that we worship and pray Satan. I mean, think about that. A real Christian making a joke like that. How many people would you mislead? How many people would you confuse? How many people would you be responsible for misdirecting? right and planting seeds of confusion in their mind like that's not something that you would do so i know that they're not real followers of christ i i don't need to ask that question the question is are they really followers of satan and are they really doing his bidding the answer is i don't know i'm not familiar with this band but do we see what is taking place in the world today and do we see how easily manipulated the masses are it's time to wake up y'all